Hey everybody, in this video series I'm going to show you how you can get from nothing from a fresh account to obtaining your 30 days of premium completely free to play. Now rather than make one video that is multiple hours long, I've decided to split it up into shorter manageable chunks where we'll look at different ways to get money depending on what stage you're at. So at the start of each video, I'm just going to give a brief introduction of what we'll be doing in that video, as well as have timestamps. So if you want to look for specific things, feel free to just browse through the videos until you find something you're looking for. In this first video, I'm going to be showing you how to start out well, how to get your run first 100k off of Tutorial Island and invest that back into yourself in a smart way so that it sets you up really well for making money in the future. Now the first thing you want to do on your way to making premium is to do the tutorial. And if you're a new player, make sure you pay attention. All these tutorials are actually very good at teaching you the basic mechanics of the game. So it's very helpful for starting off well. As you progress through the quest line, you'll eventually come to a quest that is the beginner becomes a novice. It's going to ask you to acquire your own tier two gear. This is where you can make some quick decisions that can help you once you leave the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do that tutorial doesn't get you to do is to create a bag. So you go over to the toolmaker, grab the second tab and create a bag with some leather and some cloth. Next for your items, you want to choose the bow as your weapon. And then also from the hunter's lodge, you want to make the mercenary hood and shoes. For the chest piece, you want to go over to the mage's tower and craft a novice's scholar robe. After you've completed this quest and turned it in, head over to the market and go buy two extra mules. These sell for much more money on the Royal Continent than they do in the Tutorial Island. If this puts you overweight, just trash some of the resources you've gotten. You should be around 90-95% with just your tools and the two mules. If you're already done the tutorial and you haven't done these things, don't worry, it doesn't matter too much. It's very quick to just get these stuff once you're on the Royal Continent. After this, just go ahead and finish the tutorial. At the end of the tutorial, when it comes to choosing where to go, it doesn't really matter where you choose, but I chose to go to Step Cross. As soon as you get off the boat, make sure you do the quest line that's right in front of you. There'll be a guard to talk to. He'll tell you to talk to another guard and you'll get a three day premium package. You can use this right away if you want to start a little bit faster, or you can hold on to it until you have more of a money making ability to sort of amplify it later on. I'm probably never going to use it just to get the full non premium experience. Next, we're going to continue on with our quest lines. We're going to come back to this guy here and do his combat training quest later. But first, we want to do the shady goods quest. So if you open up your cluster map, which default key is N, you will see three different quests. So there's one right by you, which is the combat one. There's going to be one by the repair station here. Um, and this is going to be one for focus. We don't really care about that though. So you're going to go to the one. It's going to be sort of hidden in a corner, like an exclamation mark here. And you're going to go over to this guy and do his quest. So Shady Carden here is going to ask me to have a look around. So you just stand here for the four seconds or whatever. And then as soon as you talk back to him, you get one gold as a reward. We're going to open up our inventory with I, click on the little gold icon right above your silver here. It's going to open this page. Just go to the very bottom here and enter your one gold in the sell gold for silver category and you'll make around 3000 silver depending on the gold market that day. So we're going to hit sell here and now we have 3000 silver. It's just a nice way to get your starting silver. Now we're going to go back to the original guy and start our combat training quest. This combat training quest is going to get you to go to a random map close to here um, and speak to a soldier. So he wants us to go to Prospector's Hope. So if we open up our map with M, we can see three zones around here. It asked me to go to Prospector's Hope. So it's one to the right here to the southeast. So I'm going to go over there and find the soldier. To find where you're supposed to go, again, just open your cluster map with N and you'll see an, uh, a question mark somewhere on the map and you'll just have to run over there and talk to that guy. So we're going to talk to him, complete the quest, and then accept his new quest, which is going to ask us to get 200 silver from Heretics and unlock the Journeyman Reaver. So if we press our map here, or our N to cover our cluster map, you'll see these little um, dungeon symbols here the little yellow things with green entrances there's one here and there's one here so we're going to go to the one closest to us and kill some heretics until we get 200 silver now the silver collection process will go faster if you popped your three-day premium it will go 50 percent faster 
um, but again it won't take too long if you don't prop your premium if you get knocked don't worry about it too much it will just lose some durability on your gear and it will cost just a tiny little bit of money to repair it but really not that much it's no big of a deal you can also go inside the dungeon if you want, but I wouldn't recommend it because there's less mobs in there, so you really only want to go in there if the outside is completely full with other players. Okay, so once we finish that first quest there, we're going to go back to the man who gave it to us, and we're going to complete our quest. And then he's going to give us another quest, and we want to do this quest as well. So we're going to accept it, and he's going to tell us to speak to some other guy in this map. So same thing, press N to bring up your cluster map, and you'll see another question mark here, and you can go and find that guy on the map. Okay, so we've completed the quest to find him, and he's going to give us another quest. You can see the reward for this quest is what we're really after. It's a royal sigil here. Its estimated market value is 40,000 silver, a little bit over, so that's going to be a nice starting silver for us. That's what we're really after right now. So we're going to accept this quest, and he's going to get us to kill any 10 heretics or one heretic boss. So again, if you open your mini-map here, this this quest is easier to do in the large one over here, so you'll see there's two of the smaller ones and then one large one of the mob areas. So we're going to go over to the large one and we're going to go find a boss to kill. So I'm going to run all the way into the middle here. Uh, and I'm just going to ignore these mobs until I find a boss. So you can tell what if something is a boss because it will have this little circle under it here. You see this yellow circle around this mob up top here compared to these guys. He has a, a yellow circle, which signifies he's a boss. He also has a special icon here at the top, which makes him look all fancy and special. So I'm just going to go ahead and kill him, or die trying, one of the two, and we can complete the quest very easily. Alright, unfortunately I got bested by the mobs there, so once I get back up, I will try again to kill him. You can see some of your silver drops on the ground if you die, but no problem, you can just pick it back up, and it's not that much anyways. Okay, so boss down, he drops around um, 250 silver. We're done the quest now, although we're not quite done what we want to do here yet. Essentially, before we go back, if you press B to open up your destiny board. Before we move on to our next phase, we want to make sure we get up to our journeyman or tier three level of weapon and armor. So my journeyman hunter here, uh, journeyman cloth armor fighter, and leather armor fighter. We want to make sure we get all those notes completed. So we need around 4.5k fame still. Um, and so there's two ways that we can do this. We can either keep killing the mobs here, but a faster way is to go through the map and try to find some solo dungeons. So I'll show you what a solo dungeon looks like on screen here, essentially a little rock with a green thing, or a green light poking out of it. Um, and these are going to give more fame and rewards than the mobs in the open world. Okay, so I've gone and found it and had a solo dungeon here, it didn't take too long. You can see there's these little dungeons with green light escaping, so you dismount and then just left click on it and you'll be channeled inside of it. So these dungeons shouldn't be too difficult, you just want to go through it all the way until you hit your tier 3 or journeyman level of your armor and weapons here. So for during this part, you have the option to use learning points if you want, however I would suggest against using your learning points for anything in the combat tree. Essentially, once you get premium, gathering, refining, and crafting get really good as money makers and can be valuable activities. However, those things require learning points um, to be able to do them quickly and efficiently compared to a combat which you can do much quicker. So you generally want to be saving your learning points for gathering, refining, and crafting, which we won't really be doing here. So I would suggest saving your learning points unless you have no interest in the gathering, refining, and crafting and you just want to kill things and people. After you get tier 3 and all of your combat items, go back to the quest guy and pick up your royal sigil as a reward. Okay, so we're now done all the quests that I want to be done. So now we're on our own and we can do essentially whatever we want. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to press M to open up the big map and we're going to look for the town that's closest to us. In this case, it's Bridgewatch um, and we're going to try to go there. So from here, I just need to go up to the northwest and then the southwest um, to get to Bridgewatch. So I'm going to go and travel to Bridgewatch as fast as possible. 
Okay, so once you've made it back into town, the first thing you want to look for is the repair station. It might be a little bit laggy when you go into town the first time as there's a lot of people running around. There's 345 people in Bridgewatch right now. This is where the action's at, really. So to find the repair station, you want to open your cluster map again with N um, and scroll in a little bit and you can see repair station is this little symbol here. And you want to make sure the owner is system so you don't have to pay uh, taxes when you use it. So go to the repair station, repair all of your gear. It will cost you a little bit of silver, but no biggie. Then your match up and the next thing you want to find is the market so the market on the map looks like this um it's just like a little entrance with little market symbols on the map uh, it has the little uh the the auction symbol there so you want to go in the marketplace and we're going to be selling uh, pretty much all of the stuff that we have the only things that we're going to keep is our bag and our mule our bag our cape and our mule um and so when you click on the market here uh, in order to sell things, I'm going to take everything off so I can sell them, except for the three things I want to keep. I'm going to stack and sort my inventory just for um, organization's sake. If you go down, so the first tab is the buy tab, the second tab is the sell tab, you want to click sell. And then if I click sell on this item, um, essentially I will have two options, sell or sell order. If you go up to the top right of this window that pops up, there'll be a little arrow here, which you saw I had up earlier, and this gives you more information. So. The sell option is going to sell to people that already have buy orders in the market. They're saying, I want to buy this sword for 41 silver currently. So you can and go sell it for 41 silver, or you can say, no, I want to get closer to 100 silver for it, which is what I would suggest, and go into a sell order then and sell it. And I'm going to sell it for 104 silver, so one silver under um, what the, the highest price is right now. Um, and so sell orders essentially are going to take longer to sell but they're going to give you more profits so i would suggest doing sell orders for pretty much everything unless you need the money right away so we're going to sell order almost all of this for just a little bit under however we do need some money so we're going to go ahead and find my uh, royal sigil here and this one i'm actually just going to sell right away because i want this 36k um, so that i can invest it and get some gear so we can do some stuff so i'm going to just use the sell option for this and you'll see my money jumps up right away to 37k um, but the rest of the stuff i'm going to sell in sell orders okay now that's all sold then we have 37k we're going to buy our tier 3 items so that we can do things a little bit more efficiently so the first thing we want to buy is a spear so you can go over and you can even just go to tier 3 here and just search spear and you'll get a spear here now, one thing to look out for when buying items is their quality. So essentially, what determines how good an item is, is its item power. So you can see the item power right under here. This item power is 510. And depending on the quality, it gives us a little bit of bonus into the item power. Essentially, item power just determines its stats. Um, so we can see this good quality one is 510. The base is 500, and we get 10 for it being good quality. A normal one here is just going to be 500. And if we go over and find an outstanding one, um, I'll just search up here. Outstanding is going to be 520, excellent 550, uh, and masterpieces plus 100. Um, so rather than buying the you know the cheapest one, I'm going to look at how much outstandings are. They're only like 100 silver more, so 10 IP for 100 silver. We'll take it. We'll buy an outstanding one. After that, you're going to want to repeat the process and buy a journeyman's torch, a journeyman's mercenary hood, a journeyman's mercenary shoes, and a journeyman's scholar robe. Um, so now we have everything we need for our next phase. These are all our next items. So you can go ahead and equip them all and select any skills on the shoes. You want to choose Refreshing Sprint and the Balanced Mind passive on the helmet. Balanced Mind passive. And uh, it doesn't really matter which ability. You're not really going to use the helmet ability. And chest piece, just choose the Mend Wounds for now. And the Damage passive Aggression. Okay, and then we can close our market and move on to our next step. Okay, so now that we have all of our tier 3 gear here, our next step is to get all of this to tier 4. So if you open your destiny board with B, you'll see the nodes that you have. If I go to a weapon, for example, I just got this one. If I go up, you can find this spear here. We need to get this to level 1. So we're going to need to get 25,000 combat fame, a little bit over. Um, and we're going to do this through solo dungeons. Now, if you open your map with M, you have two options that you can do for soul dungeons. You can either go to a tier 4 zone to the one Long March Meadow here or Smooth Floor Cleft, or you can go back to tier 3 and do them in the maps you're doing before, like Fractured Ground. The Fractured Ground ones are going to be easier, but a little bit slower. I would suggest starting with uh, the Fractured Ground one, the tier 3 ones, until you hit tier 4 reaver here adept reaver because once you get adept reaver the tier 4 soul dungeons will become much much easier 
However, if you're in for a challenge, you can just start with tier four right away and they're just gonna be a little bit more challenging until you hit this Adept Reaver. So I'm gonna go and find a tier four soul dungeon and we'll uh, complete it until we get to our tier four combat nodes. So to get all your reference from tier three to tier four, it should take you around one, maybe two dungeons to get, so really not that long. And it's a good chance to sort of learn PVM. If you see some solo dungeon looking things with like red runes on the side and an orange glow to them, don't go on those ones. Those are corrupted dungeons. Those are essentially solo dungeons with PVP as well. And I mean, you can do them if you want. It's similar, but there'll be PVP in them and you're probably not ready for that quite yet. Also, if you enter a solo dungeon and there's already a player in it, it's common courtesy to just leave and let them do their dungeon instead of trying to compete with them to get the fame and the mob kills. While doing this, you'll likely complete your daily adventurous challenge thing, which will give you a tome. Go ahead and claim that and use it as well. Okay, so we've just finished all our milestones off, just got the combat ones finished. You can see we have the chest piece and the helmet and the shoes here. Uh, so we're going to go back to town and upgrade our gear. Okay, so now that we've reached tier four on our combat items of choice, we're pretty much at where the game starts. Tier three is really just introductory. Tier four is really where everything starts. And so we're gonna go to the market. We're gonna sell everything we have and buy a completely new set of tier four items. Once you get back in town, just make sure you go to the repair station again and repair everything first so that you can sell it on the market. Okay, so we're just going to take everything off and sell it. We're going to sell everything this time. Everything has to go. We're going to replace all of it, um, and then we're going to buy some items instead. Okay, now for buying items, we're going to buy the following specific items of Tier 4. We're going to buy an Adept Spear, an Adept Cleric Robe, an Adept Torch, an Adept Assassin Shoes, Adept Stalker Hood, a Tier 3 bag, so Journeyman's Bag, a Tier 3 Horse, so Journeyman's Riding Horse, and then we're gonna get some Bright Skill Xander, really any regeneration food works. Bright Skill Xander is just like a nice medium range cheap option that still goes to good regen. And then we're also gonna buy 384 of Adept's runes. So tier four runes, and if possible, if we have money left, 144 Adept's souls or tier four souls. So before I forget, I'm just gonna throw this three day premium in the bank, um, but we bought these runes and souls because they can be used to upgrade our gear to a essentially a tier higher. They give an extra 100 IP per upgrade that we do for them. So to upgrade your gear, you're just gonna go to the town here and you're gonna wanna find the artifact foundry. So again, if you open up your cluster map, you'll see the artifact foundry is this little symbol here. So if you go over there, you can see when you get there, it's like this giant hammer thing that smacks down on something. So you're just gonna click the hammer thing. And then to enchant, you're gonna go to the third tab down, the enchant tab, and then you're either gonna just click and drag all of this tier four items that you got, not the bag and the cape, but the rest of the tier four stuff you got, um, and hit enchant, or you can shift left click them, and it goes in there as well. So we're just gonna do that once for all of our gear. And you can see we use all our runes by doing this. And then since our spear is our weapon, it's the most important, we got the 144 souls and we're going to use that to upgrade it to 4.2. So you can see now if we click on our spear, our item power is 920, which is very good. The normal item power is 700 and we have plus 200 because we used the souls and runes on top of it. Okay, now since we are back down to 6k, we're going to go make a little bit of money again. We're going to actually get another Royal Sigil. If we go over here to the Expedition, again, you can find this thing. Um, if you open up your cluster map, it'll be this little portal, the Expedition Master. If we click on the Expedition Master, now that we have our Tier 4 gear unlocked and we have our Adept Reaver, which we got as well with that, we can do one of these adepts individual expeditions and the daily bonus is again another one of these royal sigils that we can sell for around 35 to 40k so we're going to do one of these to get another 35k now that we have this upgraded gear as well these should be fairly easy probably even easier than the solo dungeons you were doing before the bright skill Xander fish that you bought can be used to increase your out of combat health regeneration. So it's helpful, but you don't have to use it if you don't want. You can also use mend wounds on your chest piece if you find that easier. All right, we've completed the ex expedition. So we just leave through this portal and we should have another Royal Sigil that we can sell on the marketplace. Okay, so I'm just gonna go quickly sell this Sigil on the marketplace. Uh, let's see how much it's, I'm gonna sell order at this time because it gets a little bit more money and we don't need the money quite yet. 
um, and then we can sell this other thing that we got as well so now essentially we are very well set up to continue our money making we have a good set of gear worth around 50k that is very good for clearing dungeons and doing other activities so essentially now we can really start making money we have the royal sigil selling right now so overall we've made around 100k we'll have around 50k once that sigil sells to work with and we can start to make more money that's it for the first video this one i went fairly in depth just because it's really helpful to get a really good solid start and really walk your hand through the first part of it the next couple of videos will be going more over different strategies for how to make money and how to you know use this starting cash to get you know one mil two mil three mil eight mil etc i probably won't walk your hand as through them as much as i did with this one but I will show you some really good money makers and exactly how to do them. So look out for those ones if you want to continue on with me to getting your premium money. Right.